Hello everybody. Welcome to yet another live uh, that we are doing today on our show called Now More Than Ever. Uh, we've been showing positive stories. Hello Devika, thank you for joining in. Uh, we've been showcasing positive stories every day now at 7 p.m. Um, and the idea really is that it's in these trying circumstances, in these really, really um, gloomy scenarios that we are seeing all around us, it's all the more important for all of us to share positive stories, for us to inspire everybody and to take heart that we are not alone in this and there is a lot of good happening out there. So on that note, welcome again to episode 3 of Now More Than Ever. Now before I get into these stories, I just want to say a quick hello to everybody who's joining in. Do let us know where are you all coming in from, which, which cities, which towns. Um, gives us some idea of you know who's watching us uh, on Instagram we have oh we already have about 80 people coming in from different places um, welcome um, and hello to everybody on Facebook as well so today before I kind of move to our positive stories someone's from Noida someone's from Chennai people from Bangalore Sindhu coming in from Coimbatore um, thank you guys thank you very much Hello from Rotak, um, Hyderabad. Lovely, lovely, lovely to see everybody. Uh, guys, let's do this together. We have to spread positive news and it's important now more than ever. So now, before I get into all the stories today, we have some amazing stories today for you. But today I have a very, very important information to share with all of you. And I need all your support I can um, get on this one. As we all know, we've been constantly hearing COVID-19 and this lockdown has impacted lakhs of migrant workers, daily wage earners and, you know, several homeless people who are going without food or shelter for days. Now, in these difficult times, India is witnessing the inspiring work of many change makers who are putting their own lives at stake to provide food, ration, money, shelter and support to those in need. Now, these are people who are placing humanity above all else and leaving no stone unturned when it comes to giving everyone an equal fighting chance in this crisis. Now, among them are many civil service officers who are really pushing themselves to the utmost to help the underprivileged. And we've covered many of these civil service officers on The Better India. So now, while so far we had been sharing several details with you, on how you can contribute, help. You know, we've been working hard to gather information about various credible initiatives being taken by such officers on the ground and understanding the help that they need. From Maharashtra to Meghalaya, these officers are working relentlessly to distribute ration kits to daily wage earners, provide shelter for migrant workers, spread awareness about COVID-19 in their districts and so much more. The Better India lauds their commendable endeavors and is now making it possible for you, our readers, to support these officers on the ground. Here's announcing the launch of our campaign to raise funds for those who need help the most. Better Together is our initiative to support civil service officers from across India and join them as they help migrant laborers daily wage earners, frontline health workers, and all those who need our help most in these troubled times. So we've collected information about these amazing initiatives by these officers in one place. You can see the link in our bio on Instagram. It's on Facebook along with this video. And we're raising a collective amount which will be dispersed to each of these officers at regular intervals. Better Together is the campaign. It stems from this thought that while we are all safe in our homes, there are lakhs and lakhs of people who do not have the luxury or privilege of even getting access to one meal a day. The initiatives we are supporting with this campaign are helping people in need with access to ration kits, food and more on a daily basis. So please, please guys, click on the link. It's in our profile on Instagram. Uh, it's there in the video uh, with Facebook. Please click on the link on this comment uh, and help us with your donations. Now, Here's moving on to the positive stories of the day. Why positive stories? Because it's now more than ever that we need these stories to be put out there. Now, our first story 
and do listen to this carefully it's an incredible story our first story is about tahira tahira is a daily wage worker she was only 14 when her father passed away seeing no other way out she discontinued her education she discontinued her education at the age of 14 and became the sole breadwinner of her family taking up multiple daily wage jobs to sustain her family of seven members she did everything from selling fish rearing cows to even starting a driving school tahira soldiered on and fought all the way um, through all the odds now before i continue this is tahira she was 14 when her father passed away and she's been doing daily wage jobs before i continue any film fans here who follow malayali movies anybody who follows malayali movies Awesome. So we have a bunch of people sharing that they do um, on Instagram, and this story will be especially interesting for you guys. Right? So nearly thirty years working as a daily wage laborer. Uh, she's been working for thirty years, and a renowned director in the Malayalam film industry. You can guess who heard Tahira's story, and guess what? He wanted to make it into a film. Not only did he turn her story into a movie, but this 41-year-old Tahira starred in her own movie because he could not find any other person who could even act like they were doing all the things that she actually did for a living. Not in her wildest dreams did she think she would star in her own biopic, and that it would receive widespread appreciation from film critics. The best part. Since the film's release, Tahira has received help and donations from all corners of the world. And here's the thing: an anonymous benefactor even provided her with land where she has now built her own home. So that's our first positive story of the day of Tahira, a daily wage worker, a been a daily wage laborer for thirty years, starred in a film of her own as herself, and it's received. great great appreciation from all corners of the world so here's a big applause to tahira and the film director who came in and made that movie now the second story for today uh please keep leaving your comments guys what do you think of the stories you know any feedback you have anything you you want us to cover please 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 uh please kind of keep leaving them as comments and questions and we would be very very happy to answer them so the uh so the sec- and so do we have questions yes so we have okay the question is who was the director the director was siddiq paravur paravur sorry siddiq paravur is who basically from the malayalam film industry who heard uh, tahira's story and and then made this made this movie in fact the movie was also recently at the international uh, film festival uh, in kerala all right so We now move to another incredible story, and this time it's from the state of Odisha. And before I kind of, you know, move forward, I have a simple question: How many days has it been since you spotted sparrows? It's a very simple question: How many days has it been since you spotted sparrows? Yeah, people are people are giving their numbers in. How many days has it been, guys, since you last saw a sparrow? You know, I th- I think this number will differ for all of us based on where we stay, and especially um, where I've been in uh, you know in Bangalore. Um, I haven't seen a sparrow for several several years. Pulkit says in Delhi there are no sparrows yet. Kalpana shares that it's been almost a year. Um, that you know mega mega thank you say mega says that it's been years since was an ethel from which she is she sees it daily that's amazing uh edvi you where you are uh so most people saying it's been years um uh, sindhu also shares that i usually see them only in my hometown and she's never spotted in coimbatore right now right so guys clearly sparrows have been elusive to say the least so um uh, coming back to that point now like i said 
earlier, we used to see spar sparrows everywhere in backyards, outside our windows and all of that. But slowly, they become fewer and fewer. Right Now, this is the story of a guy named Rabindra Sahu from Odisha who noticed this problem. Hey, there are no sparrows. But he didn't just let it be. So one of his photographer friends complained to him that he was not able to capture a single sparrow, a capture a photo of a single sparrow. And so they started discussing and then suddenly they came to a decision that they need to save the endangered sparrows. But here's the thing, and I'll get into what he did, but here's the thing. Today, the sparrow population in his village has increased from 11. There were, yes, in 2009, there were only 11 sparrows to now there are over 300 in 2020. So from 11 sparrows to 300. And how did he do it? Here's the thing. He did it by building houses for them and ensuring they had enough food. So let me get into the details, right? Um, Rabindra saw that there were no sparrows. There were hardly anything around. He went from 11, whatever he did, the sparrow population went from 11 in 20. 2009 to 300 in 2020 in his village. So first, Ravindra documented the spots where sparrows in his villages were usually found. So he first went around documenting the spots that these were where they usually found. But then he started placing rice and sprouts in those in in those places three times a day. Then he roped in the villagers and built artificial nests using earthen pitchers that he distributed for free. So he made holes on one side of the pitcher for the sparrow to pick grains and then tied them on people's roofs. And he continued this starting from 10 houses to 200 and then scaled up to different kinds of nests that he distributed 2000 people for free. So bas basically providing water, food and a place to stay. And suddenly he saw the sparrows came back. So here's the thing guys. If you're not seeing sparrows, if it's been years for you, just get out there, put food out there, put shelter, put water, and you will suddenly see them starting to come. So let's really end today's show with a super inspiring quote from Rabindra. He told us, if it hadn't been for this conservation project, I would not have dedicated my life to animals and birds. It taught me the importance of all living creatures. It encouraged me to educate others and create a harmonious atmosphere for all. I hope to continue my endeavors till my final breath. On that note, now more than ever comes to an end today, but we will keep coming back every evening at 7 p.m., bringing all these positive stories for you to watch and for you to inspire and for you to spread hope. Because like I said, it's all the more important now more than ever. Thank you very much. And please leave your feedback uh, and comments in the section below. And do, do check out our campaign in the link that we've provided. Thank you.